Former President Ronald Reagan hit it right on the money when he once said, I've noticed that everyone who is for abortion has already been born. Talk about ironic, right? Yet you have Satanists like the one that you're about to see in this video walking around with ramen noodle pants on thinking that it's a form of women's health care to delete an innocent child's life. Yet her mama didn't choose to do that to her. So watch how she gets schooled by Kristen Hawkins, one of my favorite anti-abortion advocates. She exposes what these evil murder centers actually will allow expecting mothers to do. This is crazy. Is that a cross on your, what, what is your, what is your necklace? It's, what is that? I'm sorry, what is that? I've never seen that. Which symbol. one? Your symbol, your. A crucifix? I'm a Satanist. So, oh, so do you believe abortion is a satanic ritual? It's part of satanic tenets, yeah. So you think, so if a woman has an abortion, do you think she should recite the satanic ritual? No. No? It is though somebody's right to abortion. It's a someone's right to abortion, why? because it's their own body. So if you can do whatever you want with your own body, it doesn't matter how it affects another human being. Is that your fundamental religious belief as a Satanist? The tenet is one's own body is inviolable to one's own will, which means quite literally, you can do whatever the hell you want to do to your body sure. as long as it doesn't affect somebody else. So a I can go- is not part- Well, the, 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 so you said it doesn't affect somebody else. Clearly, a human fetus is somebody else, right? It's not though. This is not a part of a woman's body. It's not This child's though. living in a woman's body, but the child is not part of the woman's body. 96% of biologists agree at fertilization. Sorry. When egg and sperm two parts unite, a unique genetic whole comes into existence. So when we're talking about abortion, because I think you and I would agree, I'm a Christian, you're a Satanist, would agree that your right to do whatever the hell you want with your own body probably stops when it starts harming another body. Like, you can't go into a pulmonary ward of a children's hospital and start smoking cigarettes, even though you have the right to do whatever you want in your body. We would say, well, your right to smoke cigarettes stops when it starts harming unique other human bodies, right? Would you agree with me that that would be wrong to do? There's a difference between harming somebody's body that is outside of your own. That is so not a human body. So you're discriminatory based on a, a child's location, right? So you think based it's on It's not location. a child until it hits at least the six month mark. So wait, when is it? Okay, so fetus, zygote, embryo, infant, toddler, so those are all stages of life. You didn't come from a fetus, you once were one. As a human person, you once were a fetus. You, we were in the fetal <laughs> stage of life, right? Because there's different types of fetuses. You can't just say fetuses because there's elephant fetuses and there's what? Dolphin fetuses. We talk about in the pro-life movement that human fetuses, that humans at this stage of life should not be discriminated against because of their size or their location or their age because that is an ableist discriminatory decision. Ableist? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Based on the I'm... perception of someone's ability. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We caught a live one, didn't we? <laughs> Holy f All right, so <laughs> it is not a person until it is able to have synaptic functions. When is that, ma'am? About the six month mark, but when the brain starts sure. fully developing, except we do know there you has said about. been- You didn't actually say a day. Because there's no defined day. It's about the six month Don't mark. You, would you agree that's kind of a slippery slope? to say, well, it's about the six month mark. So what about five months and like three weeks and six days, right before the child turns six months old in the womb? So five months, Nobody's three aborting weeks, a fetus and, that late oh, unless absolutely. they have to, unless they have to. Absolutely not. That's actually- I've had friends who uh, have Savannah, been pregnant before. Savannah, where's the phone number? So I've got uh, six abortion facilities on Savannah's phone. Do you, uh, let's call um, the one in Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, we're gonna call the abortion facility and I'm gonna tell them I'm pregnant with a 32 week fetus, as you say. And I'm gonna see, let's ask, let's see if they it ask like if there's anything wrong the with the fetus before they tell me how much the abortion costs. Like hold on, hold. Let's just, <laughs> let's just do an experiment. Let's just prove that late term abortions happen. I'm and not saying no they legal don't happen. Needed. I'm not saying they don't happen, but they happen to Hi, people who don't I'm, want them. I'm a, I just turned 32 weeks pregnant. Am I able to come in for an abortion, like, ASAP? Can I still have an abortion at 34 weeks? 
minutes? Sure, I have five minutes, yeah. Okay. Let me close the door. Right? Do me a favor. Right? H-A-W-K-I-N-S. Kristen, K-R-I-S-T-A-N. This is fun. I've been needing to let out rage. Holy my day of birth is 5 12 85. Is there, do I have to have any proof I mean, when I, I come mean, in? I just think that we would have like, the queers. Like, I don't have because, to like um, you know, have anything from saying, the, the, the doctor I, I, I just saw, the right? About like, the fetus. I don't have to like prove anything, right? Does the fetus have a abnormality? Like, is there something wrong with it? Um, I just found out that, um, yeah, I, I just found out that she, ha she could have Down syndrome. So we're ableist. We're this targeting. We're targeting people with disabilities. Are you serious? She'll let me have an abortion. Watch. She'll let me have an abortion. Hang well, up yeah. the phone. It's I, a prank. I got, mute. I got on mute. Hang up the phone. I got on mute. <laughs> this is a setup. You no, set up. I'm just You're calling an abortion facility. You are legitimately targeting people with disabilities. You, for, when I walked up no, here, you were targeting me. No, that's what abortion does. I'm against all abortions. Those that justify abortions. I'm sorry, what did you say, ma'am? Hang up the phone! What's a good phone number to reach you on? Bro, this is actually... <laughs> Ain't no way she's watching. You're gonna have to edit that out, Kevin. I, I can still have the abortion right, right? Even though she has Down syndrome? Yeah, so we just have to do it because the doctor... It doesn't f***ing matter! That's late-term abortion, ma'am. That's late abortion in the eighth month of pregnancy that's discriminatory uh, based on someone's genetic code. She just confirmed she would commit an abortion on me with my child who's viable and can live outside the womb. Except you're the one who asked. No, I, I, I gave her a specific situation, right? I said, can I have an abortion if my child has Down syndrome? And she said, yes. That is what abortion is. Abortion no, is discriminatory. No, abortion is health care. No, a woman not. can get an abortion for whatever god reason she If your health care kills people, you're doing it wrong. Oh, she's calling me back. How lovely. If your health care kills people, it's not I would not go to those doctors because they suck. If you can't see how wrong this is, then something is seriously wrong with you. I mean twisted, because goodness gracious, to take a child's life at any point is evil. There's no other way around it. You will never convince me of anything different. I don't care if it's one week, one month, one year, 10, 20 years. It's wrong. It's not okay. And God bless Students for Life, Kristen Hawkins, and all the amazing people that are out here fighting to defend these baby blessings. And we have to keep using our voices and whatever resources that we've been blessed with to bring justice for these these babies and the future and to give them a chance at life because these kids walk in the streets they got a chance they get to voice their weak-minded opinions every day why not for these little ones why because they're a fetus a zygote no 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 you were once that so you should afford those kids those same opportunities that you have these ungrateful spoiled kids it just it drives me nuts and it's, it's very simple y'all I don't understand why people's brain stems can't connect and understand this that we all became separate human lives when God Almighty purposely knitted each of us together in our mama's womb. And he don't make mistakes. He gave us all a special set of DNA. The creator gets everything right the first go round. That is what it is that will never change. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever simple. You, you need to understand it. Just because you don't believe it doesn't mean it's not true. And I realize many of these pro-murder advocates don't recognize God the Father, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, but that's something that they're going to have to pay an account for come judgment day. And I, while I'm here, I'm going to continue to use the platform that God has, has granted me and, and blessed me with to expose all the wickedness in the world. And there's a whole lot of it. Satan is having a blast out here in the streets. And this might come as a surprise to y'all, but I'm actually very pro-choice. I'm not pro-murder but there's multiple options in these scenarios. The choice to not have sex, the choice to put that child up for an adoption, giving another loving family that may be set up more physically, financially, just all around more stable than that mother is at that time. Give another set of parents that opportunity to, to bring that little one up in the world. You could always raise the child yourself. That's a choice to be a parent or the choice to have protected sex. You know, if you have no self-control and you can't resist waiting until marriage, that's the one that I'm least in favor of, but 
but it is an option. It is a choice. But the only choice I'm completely against is the one that involves the snatching away of the life of another human being. That's not an option. That is murder. Clear, cut, and dry. There's no fancy label you can put on it to take away what that act actually is. It's wrong. It's evil. It shouldn't be allowed. There's no real freedom involved in that decision. There's no, my body, I'm free to do what I want. Don't be deceived, ladies. Aborting your own child will only result in a lifetime of guilt and resentment and possibly suicidal tendencies down the line. If you ask any woman who's went through with that irreversible process, they hate that they did that. They might not realize it in the moment, but down the line, it is only going to negatively impact their life. There is no positive outcome that can that can evolve from this. None whatsoever. So it breaks my heart when I see college kids like this just filled with so much hate and rage and just how disrespectful and vulgar they always are with these weak-minded arguments that they bring to the forefront. They might try to use these, these fancy scientific terms and all that, but you can tell just how much they're hurting. It's extremely sad. They've probably experienced some form of horrible abuse and, and trauma that makes it seem darn near impossible to, for them to feel joy and to know that God is love. And, you know, they recognize there's a God, but they hate what they've been misled into thinking that he is. And they've allowed these experiences and other people's bad choices that could have been done to them, just their all around own bondage to sin to grow so strong that now Satan is controlling their lives. And the devil's only plans for you are to kill, steal, and destroy. Spoiler alert, nothing good is going to come out of that. Satan is not walking with you. He's leading you to a hole of punishment called death. And only Jesus Christ can lead you to actually being whole. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4 says, in their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. The sinless one who became sin, took on the cross, beat death, was resurrected, and gave us a way out, gave us a way through him. He's the way, the truth, the life. And we're living in a world that doesn't want to hear that. They don't want to hear the truth. They want to live in this make-believe, fairy tale facade sort of world that has no, no repercussions, no accountability, unlimited genders on a spectrum. You could come out as a, as a man or a woman, the only two things you can be, and think you're a they, a this, a thus. A, a bunch of bullcrap is what it is. Part in my, my language, but like as Christians, we have to keep unveiling the curtain, and exposing these lies. And it's our jobs to keep planting the seeds of righteousness by living our lives as positive examples for the kingdom and keep praying for these lost souls and leave the harvesting to God. Because ultimately we can call this out. We can rebuke it as we're supposed to do, but we aren't the judges. God is going to judge us all based on our deeds and hold us accountable. No matter what you think, no matter what narrative that you're pushing in your mind, God's narrative is, is always going to get the final say so. And that's why I try to share the gospel somehow, some way in every video that I post. And I had to change my ways or else it was going to end in the worst ways possible. It was going to end in hell. And I can't put into context just how grateful I am for God's grace that allowed me to come out of that wretched lifestyle that I was living and to give me complete peace in living for Jesus and having and knowing my purpose and knowing that the best is still yet to come. So if you haven't yet, it's a whole lot simpler than folks make it seem. You don't have to keep living on your own accord and thinking that you got to have it all figured out. The plan has already been tried and true. It's set in place. All you have to do is humble yourself and repent of your transgressions and put your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Let him be the lamp that guides your step. So then you don't have to think that, hey, I got to do this and that. And I got you. Is this the right way to go? No, no, no. There's only one right way to go. There's only one moral compass. And then once you're saved, you can be salt and light of the earth and you can do your best to lovingly bring people to the kingdom with the help of that Holy Spirit that will be in you, that fills your heart. That's, that's written on our hearts, but you have to turn from that. You have to turn from your wicked ways and turn to the way. And then you can enjoy eternal salvation, which nobody else can look forward to if they don't have the Savior, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the King of Kings, the Alpha, the Omega, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Trinity. That's what I believe. Amen. So I'd love to hear what you think about all this. You may disagree. Let me know why, but just because you disagree doesn't mean that I'm not right, is what it is. Let me know what you got to say down below in the comment section. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. If you like what I'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support, make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section. That way you can get all the awesome shirts you see me wearing in every single video. They're all made by my beautiful wife. This one says created with a purpose. It has it all 
on the chest and on the sleeve. It's based on Ephesians 2, verse 10. I like mine a little baggy, so it seems a little extra room to move and groove. But we got all different sizes, ranging from itty-bitty extra small to big, big and hefty 5X, a bunch of colors, different designs, all of that. I'm sure you could find something that you like or a great gift for someone that you love. Outside of that, you can always join the Gibson family here on YouTube and become a member. You can buy me a coffee. You can join the Patreon family. All those links are down below as well. By no means do you have to do any of that. Just showing up and allowing my freckle face to rant at you for a few minutes. I am greatly appreciative. I love y'all. I cannot thank you enough. Until next time, I'll be praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.